Hi everybody, welcome to the Sharon Valentine Show. I am your host, Sharon Valentine, Law of Attraction Life Coach and Parenting Coach. Today I have a very special guest with me, Robbie Firestone. Robbie is a world-class portrait artist. She creates spirit capture portraits focused deeply on one's inner as well as outer beauty. Her commissions include Grammy winner Kebmo, Michael Murphy, co-founder of Esalen Institute, and Bart Millard of best-selling Mercy Me. And we're going to talk about Robbie's projects and, and lots of great things about her today. Welcome, Robbie. Hello, my love. How are you? <laughs> I'm great, gorgeous. How are you? I'm so happy I'm so good. That, we, that we're doing this. We've talked about it for a long time, haven't we? We've, this I has know. been in the works for many months. So yay. Yeah, it has. <laughs> Coordinating your schedule and mine. Ooh, crazy. Oh. And behind you, I love that we're looking at your art, your brand new studio in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Yes, I'm so excited. And I know how hard you've worked at it. It looks beautiful, oh, absolutely fantastic. You. So congratulations Thanks. on Thank your you new so studio. Much. Thank so you. So you're doing well today. We're happy you're here. And mm -hmm. we want to hear about you. We want to hear about your passions, how you started way back in your in your mm -hmm. you know divine life path and life and what got you to this point where you are now creating what you are currently creating well so let's start you know, there okay um, I am a practitioner through science of mind or, or Michael Beckwith's agape in, in uh, and I've always in Los Angeles and I've always been passionate about Compar learning comparative religions, not just academically, but experientially. So I take classes in existential existentialism to Buddhist meditation. And through one of these courses, um, I was painting and ended up writing this intuitive reading into each of the pieces. And um, that became all of a sudden my business. So the great life lesson I got from that is do what you love and somehow life just shifts it all in place for us. Very and true. That's how I started. Okay, yeah. so absolutely. So when did this happen for you? When did you have this this awakening that where you knew you were going to be an artist, where that was started to come through you? Well, I think I've been an artist since I was a young girl. Mm -hmm. I was I remember sleepless nights um, at my drafting table drawing always portraits, faces. I found a, a sketchbook from high school, flipped it open, and saw this little boy that I used to babysit, Felix, and it just leapt off the page. It was so him. I'll have to show it to you sometime. It's, I'd love to see it. Yeah, it's really kind of demonstrative that I was always fascinated with people's eyes and and looking into people's eyes and then it just through life taking different career paths, different jobs, different experiences found portrait painting again and then combine the elements to create what I create create now these spirit capture portraits and and being brazen enough I say I have rhino skin. To be able to do portrait commissions is a completely different beast. It really is. Well, mm -hmm. Robbie, I've always seen you as a warrior. You are mm. you're fierce and you're strong and you're independent. In lace. <laughs> and feminine. Don't let me forget feminine and beautiful. Thank but you. you know, it took it took time in your life and it took process. Yes. To to bring all of those characteristics out in you. Yes. And so can you take us back to an earlier point in your life when you mm -hmm. weren't living the divine dream of, of the portrait artist, you know, oh. when you were doing other things, when you were expressing art in a different form. And I know that you've expressed this spirit within you mm -hmm. in many ways over your whole life. And I know sometimes it was exactly what you wanted to be living and other times maybe it wasn't. Can you share That's with our viewers some of those amazing teaching moments on how you how you created and how you overcame and, and what your process was like? 
Well, I was raised in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, this small farm community in the middle of nowhere at the time. And, um, and I just had this profound need to move to New York City to be an actress. Because <laughs> I was always doing, in, in high school, I was doing drama as well as drawing. And so I moved to New York um, and ended up being an actress and going to design school, Parsons School of Design, but um, foregoing all of my scholarships and the like to this beautiful liberal arts college that I, that I had full ride to. And so I've made incredibly... Oh, I'm thinking of a Sharon word. <laughs> for, I've made some really, really questionable decisions in the beginning. Um, I, I had so much self-doubt, and I thought life had to be hard, really, really mm -hmm. hard. And when I was going to school, um, I was a sophomore the first year of my college year because I tested out of a lot of things. And, and, um, and I remember college was just easy. I was straight A, I was on a homecoming court, and, you know, my first year, and I just, I didn't understand that life could be grace, and I thought that it had to be a fight, and so by eliminating this great opportunity for myself and moving to New York prematurely, I